keep your eye on the little bouncing ball. Each little string will make you sing if you follow the tune of the silvery moon. What's up, guys? Coming to you for beautiful Macau 2050 at the roulette tables. Coming to you with another video on how to make some quick, easy money in PokerStars VR. And today's strategy is called Follow the Bouncing Ball. All right, guys. So the basic idea of this strategy is that you're going to be betting on the previous color that hit. So basically what you're saying to the game is that you think more often than not, the following number is going to be the same color as the previous number. Does that make sense? In addition to always betting on the previous color, you're also going to be doubling every bet that you don't hit. So we're mixing in a little Martingale. Alright guys, as you can see behind me, we got a clean slate. We're in a fresh roulette table. We're going to need to make a starting bet. So for this, you can bet either red or black, uh, whatever you prefer, and then go from there. Alright guys, first bet of the night. We're putting that on black, and we are ready to go. Nice, 35. Man, I wish I put a little more than uh, 2,000 on that, but that's okay, guys. All right, guys, so our first number was 35. Good old 35, but as we know, that is a black number. So our next bet, of course, is going to be on black. Uh, one piece of advice, I would avoid hitting this shortcut key. I know it could save you some time, but uh, basically, you're going to want to avoid hitting that just out of automation because you might accidentally bet on the wrong color. So you're going to want to grab however much you're starting with. And you're going to want to put that on the most recent color. No Alright guys, so unfortunately our second bet didn't pay out. Now we got to double up. And we got to make sure we're betting on the previous color, which is now red. So double the bet on red. Here we go. Alright, there we go. Now that we hit our double bet, our next bet is still going to be on red, but it's going to be for our starting betting amount. Alright, so our starting amount, one stack, 2,000 on red, here we go. Ah, darn. Alright guys, so we missed that hit, and we're going to go ahead and double our next bet, but like I said, the last number was black, so we're going to want to make sure we are betting on black. There we go. Good old snowman. All right, guys. So I'm up $6,000 with a base betting amount of $2,000. I'm sure you all are wondering how the strategy plays out over long term. So I'm going to go ahead and play 30 hands. We're going to hit that on fast forward. And once it's done, we're going to see how we did. All right, guys, in the event that you hit a zero, you're going to want to go ahead and put on the previous color before the zero. I didn't think it would come up, but obviously it did, so that's what you're going to want to do.
All right, guys. So after 30 spins, with our base betting amount being 2,000, we're walking away here with 30,000 profit. Not too bad. All right, guys. To wrap things up, we did pretty good. I got to say, it's a pretty solid strategy. Not only is it fast and easy money, it's nice and steady as well. I just want to remind you guys, make sure you are paying attention when you're doing this. Uh, don't hit that rebat key. Don't ever hit that rebat key or you're going to zone out and bet on the wrong color. Just make sure you're keeping your eyes on the board and you're always betting on the previous color. That about does it, guys. I appreciate you watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe. Check out the other videos on my channel. Until next time, I'll see you at the tables.